Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? Hopefully you all are doing very well. In today's video, I want to talk about the command center. Um, I am getting close to getting mine to level 50. And what does that mean? Well, that means that some of the fleet commanders I've been able to unlock, um, I'll be able to look at those 50 level skills. And so I thought I'd do a video today to kind of talk about that, talk about some of the things I've done to try and be efficient with um, getting my command center building where it is now. Um, and kind of get your thoughts too. Feel free to drop them below in the comment section below, but love to hear where you're at and if you are over 50, where your uh, building is, but also, you know, what, what uh, benefit you're seeing from it. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's talk about it. Why? Because the players matter. Okay, so here we are in game. I'm just gonna turn off my camera real quick. Uh, just so it doesn't get in the way. And then let's talk about the, the command center building. So it's the building, and, and I'm gonna try and cover this from those who really know about, about the game to those who maybe haven't quite gotten to this point yet. But here's the command center building. You have to build it, uh, it gives some benefits here. You got officer stat um, bonus. Uh, it unlocks so many fleet commander slots. Originally you had uh, Kirk and Spock as the options and they've added multiple ones since then with um, fleet commander Lorca being the king, it seems like of uh, fleet commanders that they've recently added. And I wouldn't be surprised if they add more by the way. But anyways, this is the, the initial building you need to have. Uh, these quantum communicators are the most costly part of the whole thing to get your... Um to get your building leveled. So that is the most difficult part. Um, you will get a daily drip of these, and I have a chart to pull up in a minute here. Uh, but also, if you can focus on getting, and I believe the only place I've seen it that I recall, and someone correct me if there's other sources in the game if I'm forgetting something here, but the only place I can remember where you can get uh, um, additional ones uh, of these are by unlocking, um, where is it fleet commander seven of nine so um and i believe that seven of nine is only unlocked through incursions so yay <laughs> i think it's incursions and uh that uh took me many months to unlock so hopefully they'll come out with more options they did say recently when they came out with Lorca that janeway would have some free to play sourcing so uh so there is that, and I won't go over all the sourcing for the others, that's not kind of the purpose of this video, but uh, if we go to skill tree here, this is one of the most valuable ones that, that uh, and if you remember these kind of gold or yellow bordered ones are always on, so they don't have to be slotted as a fleet commander to be effective but I get an additional 14 um, quantum communicators per day. Doesn't sound like much, but over the course of a month or many months, it does add up. Um, so that is helpful to, to level that building. Um, and I guess I should say too, that the only, only other place I've seen the quantum communicators has been like rewards and say um, the battle pass. I don't remember if it's been in an event store. I don't remember seeing them in, in, in any event store. Scopely, it'd be nice if you did add them to an event store. That'd be fantastic. I think the players would really appreciate that. Um, and, and just to add fuel to the fire there, uh, pull this up real quick here, but just for like, Full transparent information here, Scopely. It was in uh, patch 50, January 23. We're coming up almost, not quite, but uh, almost on uh, two years from when Fleet Commanders were released. So here's Fleet Commanders. Here's where they're talking about the new building. So yeah, two years. That time frame just is the worst, if you ask me. It is horrible. So two years to get it to 50 and 50 isn't even the max <clears throat> for the building. And there's some abilities we'll talk about in a minute here that you can't even get unlocked. So uh, for me, 11 more levels, I'm getting close to um, level 50. So that should come soon. So anyways, this building is a pain in the butt to upgrade. So it'd be great if they came out some other way to get those quantum communicators, especially since it's almost been two years. So. 
Alrighty, so when we're talking about fleet commanders, I thought I'd pull up this chart really quick. Once again, big shout out to Jules Verne, Blue Mandalorian, all those involved in the Star Trek fleet command community that work tirelessly each month, that put these spreadsheets together, and not everyone, I get it, loves spreadsheets, but useful information. Uh, for example, at my level 49, I should say my building level 49, not to be confused with my ops level. <laughs> Uh, daily claim of 34 with additional 14, I get 48 total per day. Yippee! Oh man, to get it up to 60, oh, that's just painful. Painful, painful, painful. So, anyways, that's coming down the road, uh, but it's a slow claim. I would say as soon as you can unlock Fleet Commander 7 of 9 and get that ability uh, locked down so you can get those extra quantum communicators, that would be a fantastic thing. Good investment um, if you ask me. So, okay, so let's look now at some of the, and I hate that they move the Fleet Commanders from up above here over to the side here. <sighs> All right, so we won't, I'm gonna hop into just a few of these and talk about some of the ones that kind of really excite me. Um, and then some of the drawbacks that I see. So Lorca, um, if we hop onto Lorca, unlike the others, he doesn't have these massive um, bottlenecks, I should say, for the 50. Like, I was able to max or get a lot of these pretty leveled before hitting that 50 bottleneck, which is fantastic, if you ask me. So that one still needs to get to 55. Um, so anyways, I like that, but let's hop into some of the others. So Kirk, as I'm looking at this, I do like that once I get to 50, I'll have more whole health. There's a lot of that in the game, obviously. Um, increased weapon damage, whether he slaughter or not, will be, will be great. Critical chance against hostiles, that's not bad. Um, these have officer attack, defense, and health, which are okay. Um, there's a lot of that in the game. So, but anything you can get there, and you'll have to select one, which is a drawback here. But here in the Explorer, I like these from a cost efficiency standpoint. This one, for example, increases crit or crystal cost efficiency for ship components. This first level is 5%, goes all the way up to 50%. But the problem here. And I'll pull up one of these. I think I have one of these for Spock. Um, or adhesiveness. Is you can unlock it at 50, at command starting level 50. But then you hit a bottleneck when you get to level 5 of this research, we'll call it. Um, so what does that mean? That means you can only get it to level 4 for quite a while before you can get your, before you can get your building um, up to 53. So you'd have to look at how long that's going to take you. But level four and Kirk and Spock have the same thing where they have a bottleneck at, at level five. So you can get 8%. So 8% nowadays isn't that much unless you're doing some massive like upgrades. <laughs> so these are ship components right here though. So you've got your ore. Uh, what was that crystal? And then this should be here gas. So. Um, I do like efficiency. Uh, I just wish there was it was easier to get to the other stuff. So we'll hop over to Spock real quick and I'll show you his. So this is specifically for research. So that is great. Um, anytime you can cut that down with massive times on those, it can be helpful and will save you latinum, speed ups, that kind of thing. Um, but here, here, same thing. So you're gonna hit a bottleneck at a five a level five and so you get eight so between kirk and spock if you have both of them unlocked you can get 16 which you know i'll take anything at this point but gosh that with all the efficiencies in the game it's not as enticing or enticing to me because of that fact so this one here is interesting i think should be helpful if you're getting to higher levels that you can actually reduce your titanium costs i was looking at the costs and and some of you this is just informational purposes for what i'm looking at and seeing in the game you can tell me what you're seeing but it's going to cost me like 101 trillion with all the research i have 101 trillion titanium in order to max an Enterprise D. I will be unlocking that shortly here, uh, going to 60 and building it. Uh, so this will be really helpful. Um, if I can get even a few levels on that, um, I mean, that's gonna be impactful to my game, I'm sure. 
Um, but obviously the higher I can get it, the better. So I'd love to be able to get that building uh, leveled even more scopely. Let's let's do it. Okay, let's hop, let's hop into Sloan. Um, and just a reminder, quick reminder, Sloan is unlocked through doing wave defenses. So if you haven't done wave defenses and you can, I would highly recommend it. So here I'll be able to get some more weapon damage. That will be nice. Um, currently my plan is to start stocking up on credits and not trying to max some of these other things for now. Um, it's a slow process because waves take like 10 minutes per, if you're, if you can get all the way through wave 10, you've got to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got to, um, you know, allow for like 10 minutes. It takes like 10 minutes to beat, uh, one of the original waves not the mirror ones the mirror ones probably take about as long but um anyways to do a wave all the way through wave 10 takes 10 minutes and that adds up so something to consider but i do like sloan i still think he's a great fleet commander uh warp speed for all ships even just level one is 300 percent, so that's fantastic i do like that as you get higher up in ops um warp times can be impactful even though i have some of those uh fast warps to the g5 area it's still getting deeper into g5 does take some time so whole hit points that's okay there's a lot of that in the game base cost efficiency for cosmic particles that's for advanced 50 plus research which is helpful you want to be able to get as much of that as you can and then isolate defense and hostile loot anytime i can get extra hostile loot always a good thing okay let's hop into the other ones let's see here seven of nine Obviously, this one here, you need 55, so that's not as exciting. Uh, you have some additional stuff here for PvP. Cerritos, Titan A, depends which one you're kind of looking at there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, increase base cost efficiency for skill points for all fleet commanders. So that's probably good when you do get to 50, if you have seven of nine to get this one max first, so you can save some of your cost efficiency skill points. Uh, these will be helpful to have if you have her, her slotted, you have to pick one. So currently I don't have her slotted, so that's not as interesting to me. Uh, let's look at these costs efficiency for explorer parts so he uh, she has some where you can select so that's fantastic trying to get your ships upgraded i think this is going to be a great one um just have to have her slotted so that is something to consider um but uh, Lorca also has some uh that are helpful there too so personally i didn't see as much in lucutus as far as the 50 level skills that i was interested in but let's look at them max whole health Repair cost efficiency, critical chance against solar armadas, mitigation against group armadas, mitigation against solar armadas. Just depends, I guess, if you're really struggling with some of these things, right? Increased kinetic weapon damage, uh, which is, this is a one that I'll probably want to max even though I don't have them slotted or get as high as I can. Um, just because this will help with damage uh, since it's always on. Uh, so just more damage, more damage. Okay. Let's look just for completion sake. Let's look at Janeway. I don't have her unlocked yet, but here unslot Janeway from the command center seat without cooldown. So that's a good one to have. Decrease the opponent's base shield mitigation and Q's trials. Um, Shield mitigation could be a good thing, so you can take out some Q trials easier, right? Increase the amount of complex nanotech gain from defeating rare formation armadas, so that can help. Uh, but these aren't always on, so not as valuable to me. Um, cost efficiency for crystal, gas or parsteel, titanium, dilithium, sigma, so that can be helpful there. I need like a whole bunch of more slots. Thank you very much, Scopely. Uh, buildings, so that those who are selectable and isolated defense. So still some good stuff there at level 50. I think the bottom line is I see a big bottleneck in trying to get the command center building um, 
turn my camera back on. I see a big bottleneck in trying to get that upgraded. That is still a big problem. Once again, I've said this a couple times in the video, but it's so true. This building is a pain in the butt to level. Um, I have to wonder, and maybe maybe Scopely is still getting people paying for it, but what amount of people are actually paying for the building, Scopely? Uh, paying for packs to level the building. Are you still really making that much out of it? Maybe you should shift gears and start making money on fleet commanders uh, instead of making this building such a huge bottleneck to, to upgrade and level. So anyways, commanders, that's the video for today, my friends. I hope this video has been, been helpful, insightful. Uh, I hope you are finding success in leveling those 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 buildings. There's just some really cool stuff. Once you can get to 50, it just takes forever to get there. So a lot of helpful things that will help your game out. Hopefully, as they said, they're gonna come out with a free-to-play sourcing for Janeway, which does not even exist in the game now. Um, hopefully when they come out with that, there will be discussions that they are having about making it easier to level the building, especially for those who um, maybe haven't been playing for two years, but they still want to get their building up and take advantage of the fleet commander. So anyways, hopefully this is helpful. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.